Phalanx Covenant Part 2. Monet is trapped within the Phalanx, but it's having a hard time assimilating her. Cameron Hodge is part of the collective, and he doubles down on the need to eliminate new mutants. Stephen Lang is also part of the collective, and he agrees, but hesitantly. Meanwhile, a bunch of cops corner Sink. He says he was defending them, but they don't believe him until a bunch of the cops turn into Phalanx themselves. They attack, and Sink fights them off as Banshee and Sabretooth arrive. Sabretooth rescues Sink, and Banshee tears the Phalanx to shreds. Emma and Jubilee hang out nearby, and Emma says that she's masking them telepathically from human eyes. Jubilee is grumpy and is caught off guard after the the humans turn out to be phalanx and seize them. In Kentucky, the Guthrie family is also attacked by a phalanx. It uses the mom as bait and steals Paige after she tries to help. Emma's telepathy is useless against the phalanx, but Banshee and the crew show up and even out the odds. Banshee's sonic scream rips the phalanx apart and they can't adapt to it, so they muzzle him instead. Emma links Jubilee and Sink and together they create a massive explosion that obliterates the phalanx. Stephen Lang reveals himself and his intentions and Emma tries to dissuade him, but he doesn't listen. Jubilee alerts the team that Sabretooth has removed his restraints and is missing. 